Good morning, 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 everybody. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. So for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Grace Amber. I come on different platforms whenever God gives me a word to share. I come on and I share it with you. So really quick this morning, happy Thursday. Thank God the week is almost over, right? I want to talk to you really, really quick this morning from the topic of it's turning around for you. It's turning around for you what am I talking about today let's jump in so uh, I notice when I, I'm getting up in the morning uh, when I go outside it used to be like very very humid um, in the morning so now I'm noticing when I go out it's starting to be cooler in the morning right I'm noticing uh, when I go out in the middle of the day it used to be so hot you couldn't breathe when you go outside and now it's warm but we're not frying outside anymore. You know how they say it's so hot, you can cook an egg on the concrete. Yeah, when I go outside in the daytime, I'm starting to notice um, that, you know, I can breathe in the middle of the daytime. In the morning, it's a little bit cooler. It's not so humid in the morning. I'm in, in, in a little old eastern North Carolina, so, you know, it gets hot down south. Uh, probably more than it does up north, I would imagine or assume, and we know what they say about assuming. Um, so I'm just noticing some changes. Uh, you know, it's getting, it used to be like where it gets dark, you know, 8.30, 8.45, it's dark here. Now I'm noticing, you know, by 8 o'clock, it's starting to get dark. And when I get up in the morning, you know, it didn't used to get dark until later. And I'm noticing now that, you know, it's getting dark earlier and it's getting light earlier i wonder what could cause that so you know those of us who are of of age you should be you know at least five years old you ought to have some some concept of seasons changing so what's happening is the seasons are starting to change right and so we don't just look at the calendar and say oh it's time it's about time for the season to change but typically what we do is we start noticing little minor things like it's getting dark earlier it's getting light earlier it's it's starting to get cooler in the morning it's not as hot in the daytime those are signs that the seasons are getting ready to change right well what causes the seasons to change but well, let's talk about what the word says because we always want to go to the word first right uh the word says genesis 8 22 kjv while the earth remaineth Sea time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease, right? So these are things that God put in place that God created, right? Daniel 2 um, verses 20 through 21, and I'm reading the KJV. Daniel answered and said, blessed be the name of God forever and ever for wisdom and might are his and he changeth the time and the times and the seasons he removeth kings and setteth up kings he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding right so the word makes it clear that when the seasons are changing what causes it is god's word all god got to do is just say and God said, I'm going to do a video about that, about, about the power of when God says something, right? So the word explains that the seasons are changing based upon directives and control from God, right? Because God controls all things. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, right? So everything in the earth is God and God is God's and God has control over these things. So the word says uh, plainly that the seasons are changing because God said so, right? Well, let's go to what science says. And, and you know, I'm, I'm, I, I typically take science with a grain of salt um, because what, what man tries to do, they try to give a scientific explanation for things, right? They try to give uh, a scientific explanation for, for X, Y, Z and why this happens and, and how this happens. And when man with their little skewed, uh, minute, uh, oftentimes ignorant knowledge and understanding cannot put to words and give an explanation as to why something is happening. They then try to debunk it and they refuse to acknowledge that the source and the creator is the one who's controlling these things. I try to take science with a grain of salt because I am a believer and not only am I a believer, I understand that science can't explain everything. I understand that science does not trump the will of God. I understand that there are some things that science is not going to be able to explain. Why? Because you can't explain God and his ways. His ways are higher than our ways. The word says that 
creation of the seasons and all those things come from the word of God. God said it and so shall it be. Let's talk about what science says. Science says that the change of seasons is primarily caused by the earth's tilted axis as it revolves around the sun, meaning different parts of the earth receive varying amounts of direct sunlight throughout the year when the North Pole tilts towards the sun. It's summer in the northern hemisphere, and when it tilts away, it's winter. So science explains the season changing by saying that the earth is constantly revolving around the sun, which is causing changes depending upon where you are. You're going to see different changes at the same time. So it's going to be hot here, but across the continent, it's going to be cold, right? And so science explains the season changing by the earth revolving around the sun. But here's the deal. Can we see the earth revolving around the sun? No, we can't. We can't see the earth revolving, but what we can see is signs and indicators that the seasons are getting ready to change. What we can see is that, hey, it's, it's, it's getting to the point now where it's getting cool in the morning, right? It's cooler in the daytime, right? Uh, it's getting dark earlier. It's getting light earlier, right? So we can see signs that the seasons are getting ready to change. And what science explains it as is that the earth is revolving around the sun. But we can't see the earth revolving around the sun. We can only see the effects of that action. We can only see the changes that it causes to us in everyday life in our environment. We can only see those things, right? Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, uh, first verse, KJV. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So you can't see the earth spinning, yet you can see the seasons changing. You can't see what's working in the background, right? All you can see is the seasons are starting to change. You can't see what's causing it. You can't see what's working behind the scenes in the environment to cause the change. But all you know is that you're looking up and suddenly you're starting to see changes, right? This is the same way that it is with us. And why do I say that? Because many of us, we feel stuck in a season and we feel like God is not doing anything for our situation. We feel like God is not working mightily on our behalf. Why? Because we can't see things happening just like that. Well, the same way that we can't see the earth spinning around the sun is the same way that we can't see God moving on our behalf. Ecclesiastes says to every Thing, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. And so it goes on to talk about it's a time to laugh and a time to mourn, a time to cry, a time for joy, a time to hate, a time to love, a time for peace, a time for war. So it talks about all these different things. But here's the deal. We feel stuck in our circumstance because we don't see God come down right in front of our face and shift things where we can see it with the naked eye. We don't see God come down in physical form. And, and take our circumstances and shift them and move them in front of our eyes so we feel like God is not working on our behalf. I come to encourage you today to tell you that God is working mightily on your behalf. Just like you can't see uh, the earth revolving around the sun, but yet the seasons are going to change. It's the same thing with us, that we can't see the hand of God working behind the scenes. But just because we can't see it don't mean it ain't happening. It just means that we have to put our faith into action and trust and believe that God hears our prayers, that he is attentive to us in our situation, that he knows what we need and what we don't need. He knows what we need to shift in our life. And we need to trust and have faith that God is doing just what he said that he would do, that God cannot fail, right? Look, Hebrews 11, 1 through 3, NLT translation says, faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. So, so big as your faith is, so be it unto you. You can't see the earth revolving around the sun, yet you know that the seasons are changing. How do you know that? Because you see the signs. It's the same thing. Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Through their faith, the people in days of old earned a good reputation. By faith, we understand that the entire universe was formed at God's command. God said, and so shall it be, right? That what we now see did not come from anything that can be seen. 
I come to encourage you today that you feel stuck in your circumstances and you feel like God has forgotten about you and God ain't working on your behalf. And what's going to happen is the same way that you go outside one morning and you're starting to notice that it's getting cooler and you're starting to see that it's getting dark earlier and you're starting to see that it's getting light earlier, that signs that the seasons are changing. One day you're going to wake up and you're going to look and you're going to start seeing little minute changes in your circumstance. You're going to see little things that shows you that a shift is taking place. You can't see the hand of God working just like you can't see the earth revolving around the sun but you can rest assured that God is working on your behalf there are signs that you will begin to see that the seasons are changing in your life it does not stay one season forever in your life so whatever you're going through in this season it's just for a season the seasons will change you can't see God working with your naked eye but one thing you know for sure by faith you know that he is working the same way that he makes sure that the seasons change because he said so when God says a thing about you when God says a thing about your circumstances you can rest assured that even though you don't see instant movement and shift in your life you can rest assured that the hand of God is working behind the scenes just as sure as the earth is revolving around the sun and you can't see it you may feel stuck in your circumstances but the seasons are changing one day you will look up and the seasons have changed Sooner or later, it's going to work in your favor. It's turning around for you. The song says it's turning around for you. Sooner or later, it's going to work in your favor. It's turning around for you. You can't see the hand of God moving. And truth be told, you don't have to. All you have to do is have the faith to believe that God is working in your situation and that the seasons will not stay the same. The seasons will change. It will turn around for you. I love you. I hope that word blessed you today. I am Grace Amber. Happy Thursday. I'll be right back on tomorrow with another word. Good Lord willing.